<laughs> Shall we begin? Welcome to the Happy Monster Cast. I'm your host, Scott Marchand Davis of Happy Monster Press. Let's begin now. This week on the Happy Monster Cast, the Legion of Liberty is invited to dinner with General Washington, but some uninvited guests crash the party. Previously on the Happy Monster Cast, the Continental Army has formed the Legion of Liberty, a unit of superhumans fighting for freedom from the British Crown. Elijah Allen, Master of Mind Control. Artemis Crow, Invisible Assassin. Patanoet, the Wampanoag Swamp Monster. Clara Washington, Super Soldier. And Victoria Spellman, the Human Cannon. Washington has captured New York City from the British and must find a way to hold it. And the Legion has a chance to meet with an old friend from the Sons of Liberty. Uh, the war con- the war continues against the, uh, the 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 British tyranny. You have been successful in your last mission in breaking the seat breaking the uh, into New York, facilitating General Washington's advance into the city. And now it's early 1776. Washington holds the city of New York, but it, the the threat of a British attack is constant. And so uh, Sam Adams has uh, called you to a tavern that he's taken as a temporary headquarters for the Sons of Liberty. And uh, he, as you arrive, he gestures to a beer-stained table and chairs in the center of the room. Friends, New York City is a key strategic post in our war against the, the regulars, and I'm certain that the Loyalists and their Redcoat allies are plotting to retake it. I'd like you all to take to the streets and see what you can find out about the state of the city. Okay. Mm. No problem. I'm very concerned about the threat of loyalists in the area, and I'm hoping that you'll be able to ferret out any signs of insurrection among these such scoundrels. Hmm. So this is going to be a networking task. Okay. So here's how networking works. Uh, you can. There are two ways to do it, the easy way and the hard way. <laughs> uh, the nice way to do it is using persuasion. So persuasion, you're basically going to be going out on the streets, hobnobbing, carousing, maybe uh, buying some drinks, uh, and uh, you'll make a persuasion roll. If you want to uh, spend some of your hard-earned cash uh, on the on bribes and and drinks, that will give you a bonus. But you're going to have it's it's expensive. You'll need to shell out about 50, uh, 50 shillings to do that. Then there's the not so nice way, in which case you're using intimidation, where you're going around and knocking heads. Uh, and in that case, uh, if you want to get more violent than usual, you can get a bonus that way. But uh, you're more likely to end up with some kind of a uh, some kind of damage as a result of get, of throwing down. How much um, time do we have to do this? Uh, he's looking for you to report back in the next day or two. I see. I have a question. So we lost behind those two uh, options for networking. Can I not puppet someone? Is that you can puppet? You can puppet someone, uh, but it's not going unless you know exactly who to puppet. It's not necessarily mm-hmm. going to tell you anything. So you'd right. have to you'd have to do the networking to figure out who you're who you need to puppet to get information from in the first place. Okay. Yeah, my plan would just to be to hang out at one of the bars, and then over, when I overhear somebody talking about something uh, like that, I would be interested. Then I would target them with puppet. Okay, so I think I'll give you a bonus for the, having that ability for that purpose. So give me a persuasion roll at plus one. Cool. I actually have the skill. So, um, I just clicked the skill, right? Yeah, you just or, clicked the skill. Okay, I'm just gonna roll, and then we can add the. Oh, very nice. Uh, with the plus one, that's going to succeed with a raise. So let's see how everybody else does, and I'll I'll tell you what you all have accumulated knowledge wise. Cool. All right. So uh, Clara, what would you like to do? I was going to go check out like the the local um, abolitionist area if there's a colored area. See if I can it's, talk to servants. It's very small, but you can definitely network with servants. So uh, go ahead and mm-hmm. make a per- make a persuasion roll for that. Okay. Uh-huh. Very nice. The servants know everything. They usually do. <laughs> and 
the smart ones are the ones that are allowed in the house. So, so we got a seven, we got an eight and a nine so far. That's excellent. Um, all right, pet know it. <laughs> who are you going to talk to? Is there somebody here who needs muscle? Because I'm really good at holding people down while other people persuade them. That sounds more like intimidation to me. <laughs> it is intimidation. Well, I do not have an intimidation skill. Really? You can still you can't roll shape shift a little bit and scare the bejesus out of everybody. No, no I, I can't. What would I roll instead of intimidation? You would roll unskilled. Uh, so before you do, though, I need to know if you're going to be especially violent. <laughs> I'm not going to go beat up people. Pump it up. I don't truck with that sort of activity. <laughs> I just so, want to impress people with the room. So wh wh hey, where is the bad part of town? Uh, the docks <laughs> are usually a good place to look. Okay, then I will go be somewhat violent at the docks. All right. And now I got to remember where the unskilled thing is. Hold on one it's second. The bottom of the bottom of the skill list. Yeah, I'm on a brand new system. And hold on, stupid thing, pop out. Okay. Uh, one one new thing you can do now is uh, uh, there is uh, at the top of your character sheet a pop out if you want to pull it out into its own window. Yeah, no, I did that. My according to what I'm seeing here, my bottom thing is survival. Oh, you don't have unskilled on your sheet. I can fix that. Okay, I wasn't if sure. You if don't know how to do it. You really don't know how to do it. <laughs> there you go. Now you got. It. Now you got it. Can't even try. I'm gonna check the rest of you while I'm at it. See if anybody else needs it. I'm assuming untrained is the same as unskilled. Yeah. <sighs> this browser just does not want to. Wow, Victoria is the your wow, your fire, super your, persuasive. Okay. Your, your firework show is impressive with a fifteen. Hey, what God, are you doing? Like showing your game ankle game? or something? No, he's showing his fireballs. You don't need powder when you're with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got you. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Exactly. Okay, so my persuasion <laughs> skill is actually. <laughs> Slightly higher than untrained. One D4 minus one. So I'm yeah, going to okay. persuade someone at the docks. Okay, so you, you're going to play nice. Let's see what yeah. happens. Yeah, not a lot. Yeah, you're, you're, they're not really interested in talking to one of those savages from the north, you know. <laughs> the outsider really hurt you there. So racist. It really is. All right, so you reconvene with Adams and... Uh, most of you, except for Pet Know It and uh, Artemis, who spent the entire time drinking, uh, you got a similar sense of the city, which is that it's really sharply it's sharply divided. There are there's a good chunk of New Yorkers who are definitively pro rebellion. There is a good chunk of New Yorkers who seem to be loyal to the crown, but it seems like the majority they just want to get on with their business and they're kind of resentful of the whole situation. Sounds familiar. But somebody also, went already. <laughs> but you also picked up some rumors, some adi some additional rumors, and the additional rumors mention uh, that there have been noises kind of on the street. Nobody's got anything really specific, but that there's somebody who's gunning for General Washington. Hmm. We're gonna protect him at all costs. Well, as it happens, when you report back to Adams, he says uh, this is useful information, and I'll pass it along to the general. But uh, you'll have the opportunity to uh, do that in person, if you like, tomorrow evening. The general w wants to meet with you. He's heard excellent things mm -hmm. about your service in the war so far. And uh, he'll be sending a coach for you uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. sharp. But the soonest we can get the information related to him. It seems a matter of dire importance he knows someone's hunting for him. I'll send a courier to Washington uh, immediately, just so, just to be sure. And we'll make sure that his, his, that his uh, headquarters is guarded. He's taken the Richmond Hill estate uh, in the north in the island as his headquarters. Well, thank you. All right. Is there anything any of you would like to do before the uh, coach arrives? Man, I'm not sure. I mean, he. I know he's a slave owner. You do know he's I a slave owner. I don't know if owner. I want to meet him. Yeah. I think I'm going to skip it. I know. It's the general. Do I go and bend his ear or do I skip it? He might be offended. Hmm. He might be. True. But this is important. Which side of the French and Indian War was Washington on? Uh, he was on the side of the the British and those tribes versus the French and the other 
uh, nations that were involved. Hmm. Where was I again? <laughs> Where would you like to have been? I don't think you were specific about it. Oh, no. Well, I was, um, I thought I said it was a, a Mashpee. Isn't that, uh, I ended up with this name for a reason. Yes. Uh, so the Wampanoag, I don't think were heavily involved in the war at all, but if they would have been more, more likely on the British side. All right. He dresses too fancy, but I suppose I'll hear him out. Okay. Still not wearing pants. So Art Artemis decides to uh, to keep you company, Clara, just so it's not obvious that you're the only one not going. Mm. So uh, Elijah, uh, Petanoet, and Victoria will head out for the uh, the event here. Okay. All right. So you guys are going to roll up on Richmond Hill here. Let me put you in the driveway. All right. So you're in the driveway, and there are a couple of guards at the door. So your, the coach and four arri arrived. You quickly left the smoke and the stench of the city behind as you traveled through woodlands and farms in the northern part of the island of Manhattan. And you've arrived at a stately home guarded by soldiers in the new blue coats of the Continental Army. They salute you smartly as you approach the front door. Likewise. All right. Would you like to proceed into the door? Mm -hmm. All right. They're going to open the door for you. And inside you see a familiar face now also in Continental uniform. Uh, it's that kid you met uh, when you were hooked up with Hercules Mulligan. Uh, what was his name again? Oh, yeah, Hamilton. Is he like 18 now? Uh, about that, yeah. 19, I think. <laughs> so as you enter the estate I'll, here. We'll greet him formally. Yep. He says, uh, welcome, welcome, my friends. It's good to see you again. I, I believe we were expecting five. A couple of the others were feeling under the weather. Couldn't make it, unfortunately. Oh, a pity. Uh, I'm, sure the <laughs> I'm sure the general will take the opportunity to meet with you, uh, as I'll meet with them at another occasion. And he leads you through a, uh, a parlor here and into a dining room. So you can follow him in there. Yeah. Or I can drag you in there and you can I take your seats. Oh. <laughs> yep. Is it all the way to this room in the top? Yep. Okay. And uh, as you come in, the general rises. Uh, Hamilton salutes smartly. And he says, uh, welcome. And Hamilton sort of whispers in his ear, I'm glad the three of you could make it. Please take your seats. We have a, a fine meal prepared for you. And uh, you, there's plates laid all the way around. So you can pretty much sit wherever you want, other than obviously where Hamilton has taken a seat. Okay. Yeah, I proceed to sit down. All right. So go ahead and pick your seats. Is there a way to scroll up the map, like pull it up, as opposed to... Uh, just right-click on it and drag it. Okay. All right. You can, all, you can also scroll wheel to zoom in and out if you want. Yeah, I was doing that just to figure out how to move the map. Can you post it closer to the front here? Anyone sitting there? Uh, anyone sitting closer to the front? The, no. Yeah. They're, they're, the only two people in the dining room are, uh, are Hamilton and... Uh, George Washington. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'll say that uh, close to it. Okay. Uh, so he, he gestures you for you to sit, and mm -hmm. servants come in and uh, start laying a whole massive pile of food on the table. Uh, this is traditional 18th century dining, so it's not uh, courses. It's just they lay out a ton of a, a huge piles of food on the tables. Uh, Victoria and Pet Know It, where are you going to sit? Uh, as far away from everybody as I can get. So you can take the foot of the table then. That works. I'm going to and... sit sort of like closer to like middle or center. Okay. So Washington kind of gives Pet Noah a look. And uh, <laughs> he's like, huh. Um, and uh, then he, he said, he, but he, then he addresses you. He says, I understand from my friends, the Adamses, that you are... You are also a veteran of the Seven Years' War. I was there. A terrible conflict without the honor of our current struggle for liberty. A lot of bad people did a lot of bad things. I'm going to make sure they pay for it. Uh, it's my hope that we will not be forced to into combat with the, the Western Indian nations. As for the French, well, we may have to swallow our pride and take them as allies. Sergeant Allen, you also fought in the in that conflict, I believe. Yes, I uh, learned many of my um, learned uh, really got in touch with my talents back in those days. Indeed, and uh, Corporal Spellman, 
it's uh, it is a pleasure to have a lady at the table. I'm honored to be here. Very kind, very kind. Please help yourselves. So there's there's a there's a, a joint of mutton on the table. There's uh, a, a couple of different roast fowl. Uh, there's terrines of potatoes. It's a pretty lavish spread. Sounds delicious. Fresh baked bread, butter, and so there's a bit of you know casual conversation. And uh, then I would like you all to make uh, notice rolls. Uh, I'm going to make it a point that Victoria is very like dainty about like the meal stuff and etiquette. Like she's picking up the proper fork from the proper position, et cetera, et cetera. Oh yeah, same, same for our life. Yeah. Like as dainty and formal as possible. You said notice, right? I said notice rolls, yes. Um, oof, not good. Yep, so you're you're pretty head down in your meal with that, too. I'm trying to be focused on uh, my etiquette. Yeah, I am Focus! not Focus! Come on, everyone! I'm going to Benny that. Okay. There is a button for that in chat. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so uh, Victoria and Pet know it, being a little bit closer to the door. You hear the report of a musket shot. Everyone hears that. Uh, but you two also hear the sounds of the front doors crashing open. Uh-oh. State change. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, we're going to go ahead and put ourselves into combat here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yep. Combat, so turn, combat okay, turns for everybody. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. I'll best save the general. All right. Be interested to see if any of you can see that at this point. No, you can't. Okay. All right, Elijah, you're up first. Okay. Um, so no one's entered the room yet? We're no one's so... entered the room yet. Okay. Um, so there's a door directly to our right? Is that what I see? And then there's a couple uh, doors behind us. There's a door. Uh, so there, in terms of exits from the room, there are several windows. There's a, a door uh, to your to the right, which looks like it uh, leads into. Um, there's a door to the right that you think probably leads into the kitchen because that's where everybody came through with food, and then there's the door you came in down at the bottom. Okay, um, which I can now ping. So there's a door there. Ooh. There's a door there. Okay, I'm going to uh, place myself right here and um, just ready my gun. Or if anyone comes through the door on either side, I will. Um, I will also say while I'm going that direction, uh, uh, General uh, George Washington is a general. Yep, General Washington, you've heard about the risk on your life, right? Someone's out to yes, you, Mr. Adams, inform me. Please um, get behind me, sir. We will face this together. And uh, he draws his sword and holds action on the table there. Okay. And there's definitely, you're definitely hearing more footsteps coming from outside. Do I, since I'm next to the kitchen door, do I hear any noise from the kitchen? Uh, you do hear noise from the kitchen. Uh, it sounds like uh, there's some cowering and yelling happening. Do I have time to open it? Like Yeah, you could, you could do that on your action. You can crack the door open. Okay, I'm going to crack the door very slowly and see what I see or if I can hear it more. Uh, it appears that uh, there are uh, several cooks and servants who are hiding under tables. Smart okay. people. Uh, Hamilton also draws his sword and waits. Victoria. Uh, I'd like to draw my sword and sort of have my hand out, you know, looking magical like I'm about to cast or hurl a fireball. Okay. Uh, and can I move over to this corner over here? You absolutely can. Okay, I'm kind of thinking if I stick there, I can sort of look out in two directions. Makes sense. So, uh, yep. Yeah. And Pet Know It. Uh, we're going to be smart about this time. I'm going to turn towards the door, and we're going to concentrate so that next time around, we can uh, actually accomplish a state change. All right. Concentration commences. New round. Okay, Hamilton is holding action. Yeah, they're going to do that. All right, so as you're getting ready to state change, two completely identical women uh -oh. enter the room. Uh, they appear to be uh, native. They appear to be Native American. Uh, they are 
armed with axes, as well as have muskets slung across their back. And following them are an assortment of thugs. And she says, deal with the others. I will I will deal with the general. These bitches gonna go boom. <laughs> All right, so uh, Hamilton is going to move around to protect the general you, since he had his held action and they can't really interrupt that. And Kawita, as she comes in, uh, she's like completely ignoring Pet Noet. She just kind of sneers at him. Uh, Washington, is, Washington is hold. Washington is holding action. Elijah. All right. Um, yeah, am I too far to puppet? Uh, what is the range on puppets? Let me see. I'm I'm guessing probably not. I think it's range smarts. What is your smarts? Uh, yeah, it says smarts. Uh, my smarts is. Uh, you are definitely in range to puppet. Okay. So what do I see? I see the two women that look exactly the same, and then there's a bunch of thugs. Yeah. Okay. I'll puppet. The, the, the thugs, thugs are the thugs are carrying pistols, and actually, as they come in, they're going to be shooting. So I need I need to do that. Ooh, so, guns literally blazing. Yes. Yeah, so one of them is going to shoot at you, uh, and two of them are going to shoot at Pet Know It, and one at Hamilton. All right, so uh, Elijah's going to be hit. All right, so you're hit for eight, which is going to shake you. Okay. But you'll have the opportunity to, to unshake in a minute. Okay. Uh, the uh, two shooting at Pet Know It, uh, those will both hit. And as these guys fire, they're tossing their uh, guns aside. And uh, ouch, two hits with raises. Oh, wow. Man. Going to start needing to spend some bennies here. So first hit on Pet Noet does 14, uh, which is versus your toughness is going to shake you and do two wounds. Unless, of course, you choose to soak. Why don't we soak? All right. So well, spend I have a bennies right now. Uh, you have three. So you can spend a penny and uh, make a vigor roll. If you click on your icon, there's a spend penny button on the little toolbar that comes up. Okay. And we said vigor? Yep. All right. That will soak one of the wounds. Are you happy with that, or do you want to bend it again? Uh, how many wounds before you die? Uh, four wounds is incapacitation. Okay. We're going to hold off and see what the next guy does before we blow another Benny. Okay. So that is one wound, and you are shaken. All right, and the next guy... Does a seven, uh, which would do one additional wound. Okay. So we'll soak again. Actually, let me check that. I'm always confused about that rule. The good news is you can't die. Yay, <laughs> uh, yay. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that is uh, one wound. But you, shit with the, but you soaked it, so you are shaken with one wound still. Okay. Can I and continue then, to soak? Uh, if you or am I... no, you can't done because you've already yeah, you're done for now. Okay. And the one shooting at Hamilton also hits with a raise. About to change history here. Might. <laughs> so that is going to so Hamilton is down. I guess he threw away his shot. Uh, I guess he did. <laughs> he may not be dead. He's just down right now. <laughs> Okay, Elijah, you need to unshake, but then you can you can activate your puppeting. Okay. The uh, spirit, right? Uh, for puppet, it's the puppet skill. Oh, yeah, unshake is spirit, yes. You are not shaken, and you may act. Okay, um, the one who talked with, uh, is that, it's one of the... It's the, the one on the left. Okay, I'm going to try to puppet her. Okay. So, it's smart. Roll puppet, roll puppet skill. Okay. Very nice. Uh, you, but that's not the right role. <laughs> so close. Yeah, if you on your on oh, your skill, on your, on your skills on list, yeah, Quick yeah, answer. yeah. Still good. Uh, are you happy with that, or do you want to Benny it and try to do better? Was that a minus one? Yeah, that's automatic for the skill. Oh, okay. Um, well, I have what is it using uh, to do it with? You'd spend what? a Benny and roll. You'd spend. She's. She would be countering with spirit. Uh, what? What am I using to roll it? Is it smart? I mean, no. Uh, it's the. 
It's the puppet skill test. So you can spend a Benny and roll it again if you if you're oh, not happy with a seven. Well, okay. I was trying to figure out what I what I got. I'm gonna try to try it again. I'll use it. Okay. I, I don't want to fail this. Move this out of the way real quick, and then click on my picture. Where's Benny's when you click on the character? Uh, there's a spend Benny button on the bar or in the character. It's up in the top if you're looking at the character sheet. Oh, I thought you could click the icon. If you click on your icon, you should get a toolbar, and there's a spend Benny button on it. If you're not seeing the the toolbar, hit escape, yeah. then click on yourself again. Okay. I'm trying to reload the application. I'm just gonna do it on the character sheet. You okay. Said, where is uh, where is it on the? Oh, I see. Minus one. There. Yep. I click minus one. Now I have two. And you can roll your puppet skill again and see if you do better. No. So the, you still keep the seven, but the four is not any better. All right. Let's see how she does. Yeah. Uh, she. Wow. This is this is a. Gonna... Wow. <laughs> this is a powerful mind you're dealing with. She just shrugs that off completely, and she so gives, even and notice. She gives you a look. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's uh -oh. all you. That's all oh, you get. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, oh. Vic Victoria. Looks like I should throw a blast in her face for that. Seems reasonable. <laughs> um, so here's something cool you can do now. If yeah. you go over to the measurement controls button. Uh, the L bracket? Yeah. Uh, what size blast are you throwing? Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> well, down at the bottom, you have the small, medium, and large burst temp blast templates. OK, so probably a medium. That's your I normal. Yeah, my normal right in the doorway so I can get everybody but not hit pet no. Yep, that works. Uh, with that said, um, you, you we should check your range. Yeah, so I'm going to have to definitely move for that. Yeah, that's 11 inches. So you'll, or 12 inches, so you'll need to get at least a couple inches closer. What's your smarts? Oh, it's range smarts times two. You're fine. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you can you can completely drop that right on top of all of them. All right, let's do it. You go wrong sheet. So go ahead and make, roll your blast skill and then uh, do your damage roll. That succeeds. Okay. So give me a, a, a 2d6 damage. Uh, I know there's a special button for that. Just, uh, you can hit the blast power button and do it that way on your character sheet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, the six, the six wasn't impressive, wow. but the 20 damage is. Um, so a whole bunch of these guys go down. Rise. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> you okay, Pat and Noah? <laughs> Being better. <laughs> well, no, he's fine. The, the fireball, uh, you, you planted, planted it perfectly. It, uh, landed right in front of him. So let's see, I should do Hamilton while I'm at it here. So Yeah. Now uh, the Native American woman looks a little more impressed because uh, and now I would uh, Bob uh, or uh, I should say Victoria, I would also like you to roll a D6, please. And this is to see if you set the house on fire. Yes, you did. Nice. I had a <laughs> All right. A very likely story. <laughs> so in addition to uh, wiping yeah. out all these what guys, you've also uh, it's going to be a memorable dinner. You've also. <laughs> I was nowhere near. That's on you guys. You've Sorry all... about your house, George. <laughs> the dynamite. Technically not his house. He's just borrowing it. All right. And then for uh, you actually didn't hit all the Kawitas. One of them got out of the way. Or all the Native American women, I should say, because you don't know her name yet, technically speaking. Uh, so toughness seven versus damage 20. Uh, so that's going to be uh, shaken and three wounds, which he is absolutely going to soak. Uh, shaken and two wounds. Uh, well, she'll spend one more. That's better. Uh, so she's still shaken, and she does take one wound. So you got that going for you, but only one. And the other one was just outside the blast radius. All right. So that will then take us to Pet Know It. You've got a whole bunch. You've got two Native American women right up in your business. Would you like to oh, shape shift? Um, can, I, am I still shaking? 
you are still shaken, so you need to unshake. unshake. Yeah. Yes. So okay. make a spirit roll. You are not shaken at all with a nine. Would you care? What would? Uh, and that will not succeed. <laughs> the three with a three, you're not going to stage shift. Can I Benny that? You absolutely can. Do I have one left? I think right. Yeah. Good luck. Do it. Do it well. That's even worse. All right, so you, you're wants to you're, die. He hasn't had a good roll since I created him. You are, <laughs> you know, you're a little thrown by the whole. Oh uh, well, wait, no, I'm sorry. You were concentrating. Yes, I was. That, I'm going to give you a Benny back. That first one uh, that did the trick. Right. Oh, woo! You, you are state shifted. Congratulations. Ah! Go, go. <laughs> Shambling mound. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So new round. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Oh, I don't order there. Oh, I see what happened. All right, so Hamilton's down. I'm gonna take him out of the combat. General Francisco still dead. <laughs> Elijah, you're up. All right, I'm just gonna shoot her since the psychic thing didn't work or attempt to. Okay, fire away. Parry this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your what gun, the... your gun jam. What is? Ah. Oh well, I guess I didn't hit anybody. Else. <laughs> At least you didn't fall on your own bayonet or something. I hate this yeah. woman. <laughs> <She got me laughs> off she... my game. <laughs> she is kind of trouble. Um, pet know it. I'm cursing myself at this point. I've never been so useless. So if I just decide to explode, what's what? <laughs> Who do I take out? <laughs> uh, that's an excellent question. Uh, the bomber power. Assuming you pull it off, uh, it is a medium burst template. So you wouldn't hit anybody you don't want to. <laughs> so Where's I your sense of honor? <laughs> My really sense of they it. shot me twice point blank for no reason. They get blown up. <laughs> I look straight at her. And then I explode. Uh, and you succeed at exploding. Ah! Boom! Such a weird trick. That's an awesome power. Uh, I love this power. Really all right, give me a uh, give me a two d ten roll. All right, ten damage. Uh, that will shake one of them, and the one who is already shaken and wounded uh, is going to spend a Benny and attempt to soak that uh, rather than get wounded again, which she does. Okay, Victoria. I'm going to rinse and repeat. That was really effective the last time, so let's see if lightning strikes twice. All right, drop it in there. All right, so uh, that's your damage, but I need you to roll your skill. All right, reverse that, strike that. Oh, yeah, I'll let you re-roll the damage. That's fine. Ooh. You do not succeed. I'll Benny. Wow. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? <laughs> Yeah, they All don't right, have nope. it's a nope. they, they don't have their fearless leader. Yeah, so you're you're kind of distracted by the existing fire. So, uh, so you opt out. Um, next up is the general, and he demands he he's going to demand surrender. Just in case, that's what they came for. And it's pretty he's pretty effective at his demand. He's like, you are clearly outmatched. Surrender now, and I will spare your lives. Ha! No, I'm not there. I think ha! <laughs> uh, that is actually enough to distract them. They're not going to run, but they are now distracted. Wonderful. Which is good, because they're yeah. going to be less effective. All right. Uh, from the back room, two more guys come running in. Wow. And they are going to attack the scary shambling mound with their clubs. That's going to hit with a raise for a total of 10, which on Pet Know It, uh, that would shake and wound you. Uh, dang it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're in, a, you're in inorganic solid mode, so you have three armor. All that does is shake you. Ow. <laughs> and the other guy also hits. 
because you're kind of ganged up on at the moment, but does not hit as strongly. But he hits for 12, uh, which uh, on top of being shaken would wound you. Do you want to sh- soak that? Do I have another one? You do. I think I blew them all. No, I gave you one back because I screwed up. No, okay, sure. That's Vigor, right? Yep. All right. Uh, that will not soak. So you take another wound. Wow. All right. And last but not least, the Native American women uh, are going for Washington. Uh, so she is going to run up. Hopefully she can get that far. We'll see. Yes, she can. And the other one is going to run. To, it's going to move over to here and unsling her musket and shoot at him. She does not succeed with the axe. Oops. Fix that real quick. But she hits with the uh, with the musket. That's never good. And Washington goes down. Ooh. Better save that guy. You're in trouble. Well, you got a skull icon. So. <laughs> we need someone to have to raise the dead ability. <laughs> uh, he's not dead, but he's incapacitated. And that's where we're going to leave it for tonight. Oh my God, oh my disastrous. God. Oh good Lord. Maybe you guys should have come to dinner. <laughs> you shouldn't be a slaveholder. Uh, maybe not. Away. Maybe not. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. See you guys See you next week. On the floor. Actions have consequences. <laughs> that's right. You can follow Happy Monster Press on Facebook as Happy Monster Press, at our website, happymonsterpress.com. Twitter as Happy Monster PRS, or follow the podcast on YouTube, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, iTunes, or Google Play Music. The Happy Monster Cast is part of the Savage Worlds Media Network. This game references the Savage Worlds game system available from Pinnacle Entertainment Group at www.peginc.com. It is unofficial media content, permitted under the Media Network Content Agreement. This content is not managed, approved, or endorsed by Pinnacle Entertainment Group. Certain portions of the materials used are the intellectual property of Pinnacle and all rights are reserved. Savage Worlds, all related settings and unique characters, locations, and characters, logos, and trademarks are copyrights of Pinnacle Entertainment Group. All other content is the intellectual property of Happy Monster Press. Background music is Ice Cold by Jason Shaw.